My name is Lars Bastholm. I work um, at Google. I run a creative think tank for brands and agencies, um, a global role where I basically I'm all over the place, but I'm based in Los Angeles, which is something to think about with great joy when you're sitting in Copenhagen in November. Um, been with Google for about a little over two years, and I spent about 20 years before that in advertising. So Google as a company is going from you know, a mobile first positioning to an AI first positioning. And I'm super interested in how will we create artificial intelligences, how will we use artificial intelligences, how will brands leverage artificial intelligences to achieve their objectives. It's such an unexplored field and no one really has the answers yet. And uh, you know, I started working in digital, which was called interactive back then in 95 because it was a wild west. No one knew anything, how it was going to evolve, what was going to happen, what would work, what wouldn't. And I kind of feel the same way right now about uh, AI and the impact that AI will have. And hence, I'm deeply fascinated by it. I mean, everybody's working on, on something right now, right? Uh, it's just a matter of making your interactions with the world smarter. Um, I mean, we just launched Google Home, you know, our little speaker um, that has a Google Assistant built in. and. It's fascinating to talk uh, to it and then to get answers out of thin air. And you know, I think what, what really blew my mind was when I just wondered out loud, because um, there's a movie coming out called Dunkirk. And uh, I was saying to my wife, do you know anything about Dunkirk? And I'm like, uh, okay, Google, tell me about Dunkirk. And you know, and my phone go. just came off, <laughs> about to tell me about Dunkirk. Um, and you know, I just was standing in the kitchen cooking dinner while I was learning about the Dunkirk and the whole historical aspect of that. So the fact that everything is not at your fingertips anymore, but actually at your voice tip, if there even is such a word, uh, I think will really change the way we interface with the world around us. Well, I mean, anything that can become more user friendly, right? I think one of the things that happens with technology sometimes is you build stuff because you can and it's horrible uh, to use. Um, but artificial intelligence that will learn about you, will learn about your habits, will learn about your needs, you know, build into your entire home. I just bought a new house and I'm trying to automate as many of the aspects of the house as I can to make the house smarter so I don't have to think about all these sort of semi-boring things. And you can take a lot of the boring stuff off of your plate if you can have an artificial uh, intelligent assistant helping you with it. So I think brands need to look into what type of help can you actually provide your consumers? I mean, it's such a great story, right? Um, I think we're very, very, very far away from anything remotely resembling that happening. It's uh, robots and most artificial intelligence at this stage are pretty dumb. Um, but you know, Ray Kurzweil talks about the singularity and the time when machines become smarter than humans. And it could happen. Uh, of course it could happen that they do actually become smarter than humans. but. You know, I think we're all so aware because of the dystopian visions of the world that the fail-safes that will be built into the system are probably going to be hard to overcome uh, by machines. And the one thing that I think humans can do is so much better than machines probably ever will be able to do is to be creative. Um, take two completely unconnected thoughts and combine them into something that didn't exist before. That's something that I don't know that we'll ever be able to teach a machine because it's intuition, it's gut feel. And as long as that's true, I'm not too concerned. Well, I always go back to, you know, who's the end user and what would the end user like to see? Anytime you can make advertising smarter and more targeted and more relevant, the better it is both for the advertiser and for the user. And, you know, that's not always the case today. Uh, I think when we've gotten closer, at least it's more relevant than it used to be where it's just scattershot. Um, but it can always get better. And that's, I think, probably the first stage where artificial intelligence that knows a lot about you and your habits and, and you know, what you like as a person because everybody likes to get an ad that's really relevant in the right moment, right? You know, I was looking for a lock for um, my garage back home, like an automated lock with numbers instead of a key, because I always forget the key and I have to go back into the house, get the key, go back out to the garage. It was driving me crazy. Um, and I searched for that once and then I forgot about it because something else. But then it came up later uh, on and, you know, just that smartness, knowing what I need in the situation that I need it in, hopefully we'll get to the point where you won't even think about it, it'll just be like, Holy shit, there it is. That's exactly what I was needing before I may have even articulated it. Of course, again, because I read science fiction too, let's always ensure that there's a balance between being able to opt out of these things so that if you don't want that, then you don't get it. Definitely. And I watch Black Mirror as well, as, <laughs> as do we all. 
I'm very fascinated by mixed reality. I think we're starting to scratch the surface now with virtual reality and uh, augmented reality, what we can do. But the real big kahuna is going to be mixed reality that actually functions. You know, when I'm going down the street, I don't know how to find my way. I literally get the map in my uh, glasses so I know how to, how to turn where. You know, any news that's important to me will pop up in my field of vision. And I think it will change entertainment. I think it will change how we communicate with screens because screens may go completely away. You may not need actual physical screens anymore. But again, I mean, it's sort of a snowball effect. Once it starts rolling, you start thinking about what will happen then. It, it, it quickly goes to sci-fi world. But I think we're closer than anybody actually anticipates. So it's exciting.